Today is May 3rd, 2017. It is day 104 for the Donald Trump White House regime. The two big stories today are Puerto Rico files for bankruptcy and Rabbi Shmuley leaks the Bannon whiteboard. But before we get to the two big stories, there is a company going out of business, another company, Wilbur Manufacturing. This is what America used to look like. We used to build things. We used to build good things made out of metal, steel, aluminum, things that would last a long time. This company lasted a long time. It lasted over 50 years, but now they're closing their doors today. They're in Nebraska. Wilbur Manufacturing in Nebraska. Now, Warren Buffett, he says, don't worry about it. Warren Buffett is from Nebraska. He said, don't worry about it. We still have Coca-Cola. We still have Diet Coke to sell to the world. We may not have very many factories left, but Warren Buffett is very rich, and he says, calm down, calm down. I have enough money for everybody, Warren Buffett says. And to help you calm down, well, we have chemtrails. New York Times says the chemtrails are good for you. So that's where we're at now. They do not deny the chemtrails anymore. They just say, hey, listen, the chemtrails are good for you. Warren Buffett is probably making some money off of it. The military industrial complex is making money off of it. Don't worry about it. You know your president has been compromised. If you look up in the air and they're spraying something down upon you and the president lets it happen, you know your president has been compromised. Your whole country may be compromised. If the leaders of your country are spraying something down upon your head, maybe it's there to help you calm down because there's no factories. Whatever the reason they're spraying it on your head, you know you're in trouble. So we go to the main stories today. They claim that Steve Bannon's White House whiteboard was revealed accidentally. Let me tell you something. There are no accidents. Everything is done on purpose. Sometimes they think about it for months. Definitely they think about it for weeks. If they were going to leak the whiteboard, they've been talking about it and discussing it for weeks. It's just time for you to know what they're up to. Steve Bannon has a board. Now the first person he's going to let see it and leak it out to all the peons is going to be Rabbi Shmuley. Rabbi Shmuley says, Steve Bannon, thank you for your love of Israel. And all those Americans thought you were an American first. <laughs> yes, Rabbi Shmuley is having a good time today. It's his 15 minutes of fame. He's supposed to be the most famous rabbi in America. That's probably why they invited him to the White House to share the whiteboard with all the peons of America. You want to know what Donald Trump is up to? Fine. We'll invite Rabbi Shmuley in, and then he can leak it to Twitter. So here's the details. They're going to build a wall, supposedly. Wasn't in the budget, but they're supposedly going to build one. Oh, I f they forgot to leave the biometrics entry exit points. They forgot to put that on this article. How convenient. Because that's how Rabbi Shmuley and his friends are going to make a whole lot of money off of you. The biometrics program in every entry and exit point in and out of America. How nice of Steve Bannon to support Israel. Americans, your country has been compromised. But you already knew that, didn't you? You've looked around. You have saw the factories close down. You've went on your hands and knees and you begged the government for a snap card. You're on your antidepressants. Everything is good, as Warren Buffett would say. Warren Buffett of Nebraska says, Don't worry about the factory shutting down because I have a whole lot of money. 
and I'm going to donate it to the poor countries out there. All the poor countries. America? Well, you're on your own, America. You're on your own, America. Did I mention that there was no huge factory breaking ground today in America that could employ 10,000 Americans? Because we would need a factory to break ground every day for 10,000 straight days. A factory would have to open up, and that factory would have to employ 10,000 people. And if you times 10,000 by 10,000, that would equal the 100 million Americans who are now not in the workforce. But I've told you this a thousand times, haven't I? Apparently, Donald Trump is listening to us. He has got the message that Bravo Von Mueller wants a factory opened up that can employ 10,000 people. Donald Trump has gotten the message, I hear. He called India. Of course, we're not going to be able to have an American open up a factory because that would be asking too much to have an American open up the factory. But Donald Trump called India. He said, India, would you please put 10,000 of my peons to work? And India said, sure, Donald. We'll go ahead and release a press release today. Would that make you happy, Donnie? And Donnie said, yes, that would be very happy. If India, the poor country of India, that has millions and millions of poor people, but they're going to be able to employ 10,000 Americans. Oh, we're so grateful for you. We're so grateful. We should get down on our hands and knees and thank India for employing 10,000 deplorables. Quite frankly, let me tell you how I feel about it. Because Bravo Von Mueller would rather live under a bridge than get on my hands and knees and beg India for a damn job. But if you want to know the truth, the real reason why an Indian tech company that has connections to Israel, if you want to know why they're getting involved with America, you should go to the Bravo Von Mueller channel and I put down all the names of all the Israeli companies that are going to make money off of the biometrics programs on the border. And of course, India is tied into it is because India and Israel are interconnected in the money-making scheme. Again, if you want to know the true story, go to the Bravo Von Mueller channel. In my latest video, you will get the truth. It may not make you very happy, but at least you will know the truth. But don't expect Rabbi Shmuley or any, any of his friends to tell you the true story of how many companies are going to shut down today, how many restaurants, how many media companies. We would like some of the mainstream media companies to shut down, but unfortunately that's not going to happen because they get free money from the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel. But there are some companies that don't get free money from the banking cartel. And here are some of the layoffs. Kentucky One Health, Mississippi Department of Mental Health. Kellogg is going to lay off 278 people. The layoffs come every day. The stores close down every day. Gander Mountain, up to 160 stores could close up. But again, the diversion away from the truth, the diversion away from the truth is Rabbi Shmuley is going to reveal the whiteboard. Now on to the next big story. Puerto Rico declares bankruptcy. We knew this was coming. This is going to be a big, big bankruptcy. If people thought Greece was a problem for the world, well, Puerto Rico could be even bigger problem, definitely for America. This is bigger than the last U.S. public bankruptcy. The last one was Detroit in 2013. They had $18 billion in debt. But unlike Detroit, Puerto Rico does not have a bunch of artwork to fund a restructuring. So this is going to get ugly down in Puerto Rico. They have over $70 billion in debt. $74 billion in debt Puerto Rico has. This is going to be the biggest bankruptcy ever in the 
$3.8 trillion municipal bond market. When the bond market comes down, watch out because it's going to get really, really ugly. And that is the third strike. You're out, America. When the bond market collapses, it is over. I think we've talked about that before. Who holds a lot of these bonds in Puerto Rico? See, the question is, not Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico doesn't have a problem. I repeat, Puerto Rico does not have a problem. It's the people that they owe the money to that has the problem. See, when you're talking $70 billion, Puerto Rico does not have a problem. Hey, I just can't pay you. No big deal. We're going to be just like tomorrow will be just like today. And today will be just like tomorrow. If I don't have it, you're not going to get it. So, again, Puerto Rico is not the problem. The problem is the people who were stupid enough to lend them money. In the past, some of the people from the Great Depression used to say, we're not really interested on how much interest I get on my money. I'm just interested on if I get my money back. Yes, some of these people from the Great Depression are gone. They had a lot of wisdom. I repeat, some of the people Probably all of the people from the Great Depression used to say, I'm not interested in you giving me interest on my money. I just want to make sure I get my money back. Well, the people who lent money to Puerto Rico, well, you're probably not going to get it back. And a lot of those people live in America, and they don't even know that they invested in Puerto Rico. It was in some sort of fund. All in a Ponzi scheme. We're starting to find out at Wall Street... And the New York bankers are running a Ponzi scheme. Well, we're not really starting to find out about it. We really always knew it. But sometimes we just put our head in the sand. Oh, well, let me actually say the saying, the quote correctly. It's from Will Rogers. Will Rogers said, I'm not so much interested in the return on my money as I am in the return of my money. We got to get these quotes right, don't we? Okay, so let's go on with the news. We already talked about the Steve Bannon whiteboard leak, but we really didn't touch base on Robert Mercer. Robert Mercer is the man who put Steve Bannon in the Donald Trump White House. He's in control of Renaissance Technologies. Now, don't ask anybody at Renaissance Technologies, what they actually do, because that would be breaking the rules. That would be breaking the IP obligations, violate their rules. No, they don't want you to know what they're doing with their $65 billion under management. But what I can tell you is the IRS believes, the IRS believes that Robert Mercer and Renaissance Technology owes them $7 billion, and that's with a B. Can you imagine owing the IRS $7 billion? Well, that might be one of the reasons why Mercer inserted Steve Bannon into the Donald Trump White House. We'll never know. I mean, it's not your government anymore. Your government's been taken over by corporations. Why should the Americans know why Steve Bannon and Robert Mercer are involved in the White House? If you really want to know these things, you should just ask your rabbi. You see, Rabbi Shmuley, he's invited to the White House. But Americans, stay away, please. The corporations have complete control over the White House. Just ask Rabbi Shmuley. He'll tell you. He even jokes about it. You see, it really is important to keep your sense of humor. When your country's been taken over and your president's compromised, you really should keep a sense of humor about it. If we do a Google on Donald Trump, today it's 377 million results in 0.55 seconds. Stephen Colbert, talking about keeping a sense of humor, Stephen Colbert says, I would do it again. Yes, the backlash on Stephen Colbert on the homo joke. 
you know the homo joke where he said the president of the United States sucks. Putin's, you know what? Wow. What a great country. What a great country when Stephen Colbert can say that the president of the United States is a cock holster for Vladimir Putin. But he says, I would do it again in a heartbeat. You see, Donald Trump will be impeached because my Hollywood masters tell me so. Okay, I can say anything I want about Donald Trump because he is senile. That's what Stephen Colbert said. They're not backing down because they have a man in the White House. They have Jared Kushner in there. They have a Goldman Sachs Soros man in the White House. Donald Trump didn't even know that he had a spy in there. Jared Kushner working for Goldman Sachs and George Soros. That's the news so far. Mike Pence, VP Pence, he's really for America. He's going to hold a Cinco de Mayo party. And after that, he's probably going to call the rabbi and book a flight to Israel. Because Mike Pence really knows how to get down on his hands and knees for the masters. Oh, you're starting to think, this is not the news I normally get on ABC and NBC. They don't tell me about this stuff that Mike Pence goes to APAC and gets on his hands and knees and bows down to the masters. No, you don't get this on Fox News and CNN. This is Bravo Alternative Media, where I tell you the truth. So let's go on with the news. Apparently, Hillary Clinton is extremely upset with Comey. It was Comey's fault that I was the worst candidate ever. It was Comey's fault that I'm a woman and nobody wants to vote for a woman. Comey was in a difficult position as the head of the FBI. You know, they have to investigate crimes. And how inconvenient was it that Hillary Clinton had her top aide was raised in Saudi Arabia. Uma Abedin raised in Saudi Arabia. Hillary Clinton has a foreign operative in the White House when she was Secretary of State. I mean, what's Comey supposed to do? Keep it a secret that Hillary Clinton has a Saudi Arabian operative as her right-hand lady? A Saudi asset? Comey is supposed to keep this secret that Hillary Clinton is compromised? Well, Comey was in a difficult position. Let's get on with the news. Seven bounty hunters shoot at the wrong car. They kill somebody. They're charged with murder. The bounty hunter laws. The bounty hunter laws are pretty alarming. When you, ha you can have these hoodlums. These look... These don't even look like bounty hunters to me. They look like hoodlums, and they can run through your town and shoot anybody they want because they're bounty hunters. Well, they're going to pay the price for getting it wrong. We're going to go on with the news here. Winding down with what's happening today. Oh, another diversion. Donald Trump is going to make major changes to the school lunches. As Puerto Rico files for bankruptcy, as all your factories are closing down, Donald Trump is going to make changes to the school lunch. I think the school lunch program, I think we can leave that to Mrs. Smith from sixth grade. I don't think we need the President of the United States worrying about school lunches, but I'm sure Ivanka had something to do with it. Oh, Daddy, the babies! The babies don't have any lunch, Daddy! Donald Trump, you're the President. Leave the school lunches to Mrs. Smith from 6th grade. U.S. test another ICBM. The U.S. Army releases images of the combat photographer. Her last picture is of her own death. The military industrial complex. They have their own photographers. Breaking news. Made in China passenger jet. China's making their own passenger jet now. Will this threaten Boeing and Airbus? I think America has been threatened a long time ago. I think America has already fallen. They just haven't told you. You see, it's not news until CNN tells you it's news. For now, you think the American empire is still rolling. CNN will get around to telling you one of these days, or Fox News. 
Donald Trump's friend, Howard Stern, says, Nobody wanted Hillary to win more than Donald Trump. I almost believe that. Donald Trump is starting to wonder, What in the hell was I thinking wanting to be the President of the United States? Because impeachment is a real and growing possibility. There are many people out there who think that Donald Trump should be impeached. Why? Well, how about that little thing about make America great again? We're now learning that that was a complete and utter lie. Donald Trump has no intentions of making America great again. He invites Rabbi Shmuley to come in and talk to his top advisor. We now know who Donald Trump works for. So is, is it any wonder... Is it any surprise that Americans want him impeached? I mean, it's clear to everybody he's working for Israel. It's Israel first. Make Israel great again, not America. And it's getting pretty bad in America because if you laugh at Jeff Sessions, you can spend a year in jail. The jury convicts a woman who laughed at Jeff Sessions. Are we in a, is this America? This is not the America that I'm familiar with. When you can put a woman in jail for a year because she laughed at Jeff Sessions, you know your country's been compromised. Yes, this is sad. This is very, very sad. It reminds me of a time when, if you laughed at Hitler, I'm support, I guess they would put you in jail if you laughed at Hitler. So that's where we're at today in America. You don't want to laugh at certain people. I'm even, I'm at a loss of words here. I mean, is this America? This truly, I cannot be in America. This has to be some sort of twilight zone where you're, they're actually going to put a woman in jail for a year for laughing at Jeff Sessions. I mean, what would they do to me? For what I've said in this video, they're probably going to lock me up for life. This is sad. This is one sad day. But that's where we are on day 104 of the Donald Trump White House regime. They do not want you to know the truth. They're going to lie to you each and every day. Good luck.